Now, say we're interested in finding mesh currents 1, 2, and 3 of the following circuit. Given R1 and R2 are equal to 1 ohm, and R3 is equal to 2 ohms, we can use a super mesh. That is, meshes 1 and 2 can be bridged to construct one KVL equation to bypass our 5 amp current source. We note that I3, our mesh current associated with our top loop, does not form a super mesh for our 4 amp current source is not shared. To begin, we'll employ our standard four step procedure. Step one is to construct n minus n sub c KVL loops. We will apply our KVL loop around our super mesh. That is, I3 is prescribed by our four amp current source and we have an equation relating I1 and I2. That is, five amps is equal to I1 less I2. Thus, we only need one KVL equation around the loop that encompasses our super mesh. Step two is to assign our voltage potentials consistent with our passive sign convention and to not duly label any potential. Starting with mesh current one, we first encounter R1, where we'll prescribe a voltage potential V sub one. Then as we proceed around mesh two, I2 encounters R2, where we will prescribe V2, and then R3, where we will prescribe V3. We note when we look at our top mesh, mesh three, that I3 runs through R2 and R1. However, we're not going to change our potentials. Step three is to construct N minus N sub C KVL equations describing each mesh current. And as we previously stated, we will apply this around the KVL loop that creates our super mesh. That is, we'd have minus 10 volts plus V1 plus V2 plus V3 is equal to zero. By inspection, we have our two current source equations as well. I3 is equal to four amps, and I1 plus I2 is equal to five amps. Step four is to apply Ohm's law such that we can express our voltage potentials in terms of our mesh currents and resistances. We have the following. Minus 10 volts plus V1, which is expressed as I1 less I3 times R1, plus V2, which is expressed as I2 plus I3 times R2, plus V3, which is expressed as I2 times R3 is equal to zero. Simplifying this expression, we have the following. I1 times R1 plus I2 times the quantity R2 plus R3 minus I3 times the quantity R2 plus R1 is equal to 10 volts. We have three equations and two unknowns. For I3 is given or determined by inspection to be equal to four amps. Therefore, in matrix form, after substituting in our known value for I3, as well as the values for our resistances, we have one I1 minus one I2 is equal to five. This comes from our super mesh equation. And we have one I1 plus three I2 is equal to 18. This comes from our KVL equation. Therefore, solving for mesh currents by taking the inverse of our coefficient matrix times the right-hand side, we have the following. I1 is equal to 8.25 amps, and I2 is equal to 3.25 amps, given I3 is equal to 4 amps.